or sub good people, but online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use the promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Better Online. When the game starts. Man, show friend of the show, my guy Brian Penny Collins and my alma mater, Tennessee State head coach, in that nice office I know over here in Dentry. Penny, what's up, brother? High life, man. Man, doing good, man. I can't complain. Just enjoying the summer. Uh, guys been working out, man, and I, you know, I can't, I can't ask for anything more right now. Penny, can you believe it's been going into your sixth year, my brother? It's been a head coach yeah. TSU. That's crazy. Years, bro. Like, you know, it's a blessing. Be here. It's, it still feels like the dream that I always wanted. Uh, you know, it, everything that that's, that's happened here at Tennessee State is has just been just a great experience, and we're just gonna continue to move forward with what we got going on. And Penny, I'm just I'm loving watching what you're building there, man. The guys are getting to commit to this program. How you're building this thing, man, the right way. Getting the community involved, the city involved, man. It's so beautiful to see what you're doing, man. You've been a Nashville guy as well, man. It's so special to know I've known you for so many years. To see you doing what you do, man. Happy for you. I'm happy for the school as well, man. And lucky to have you. Man, no, I appreciate it. It's, it's what it's all about. Uplifting the city, uplifting the community, involving everybody, and you know, just trying to be inspiration and, and create a ripple so we can continue to to move our community and ask you in, in the right direction. No doubt, man. And talk about this, man. Get everybody, get the guys to commit to you that you have, man. And you're you have a great ability to the leadership building. You're a great leadership builder about talking to these young men about selling them on the vision of Tennessee State, your vision for this program, and city of Nashville, and what the, the impact they can have coming to TSU, be getting that FPC experience, and going over to play professionally after they get done playing for you. Well, you know, it's a, I look at the, the basketball court as just a stage, and, you know, our guys can come here and perform at a high level, and their dreams can come true here just as easy as they can come true anywhere. You know, we've, we've had a, a strong tradition and history here of of guys coming here and moving on to the pro ranks and uh, not just playing professional basketball, but in the work world, world as well. Uh, since I've been here in six years, we've had 19, five years. We've had 19 seniors and all 19 guys have graduated. We've had 20 guys go on to play professional basketball overseas in Europe. Um, and this place is, Nashville is one of the most progressive cities in the country right now. It's growing tremendously. Uh, I just saw a poll last night on the news that they polled 100 major league baseball players on what city they want to go to. And Nashville was 70% of the votes for Nashville. Like everybody wants to come to the city. Uh, we need a, we don't have an NBA team and we feel like we want to fill that void for the casual basketball fans. You know, Vanderbilt's private school, Belmont's private school, Lipscomb's a private school, Trevecca's private, Fisk is private, and Harry's, you know, they, all these schools are, are, have a private, are private institutions. And Tennessee State's the only public school in Nashville. So getting, if we're one of the most progressive cities in the country right now, and we're the only public school in the city, we want the city to be behind Tennessee State. Uh, obviously, we're HBCU, but it's a diverse campus, and a lot of people have gotten their degrees from Tennessee State. And we want those people that have given to the uh, this school and gotten degrees from the school to not be Atlanta Braves fans <laughs> and drive all the way to New York to go see the Yankees play and uh, drive our way to Memphis to see the Grizzlies play when we got the public school, Tennessee State Historical University 
black college um, right here in their backyard. We want people to support it and so that we could be the best version of ourselves and um, go on and, and make history here. And Penny, this is love to it, Bill. People don't realize about Tennessee State that there's a radius of 250 in state rate still. So some parts mm -hmm. of Atlanta, if you live in certain parts, this is 250 away from Tennessee State, you get the in state rate. So that thing we do at Tennessee State with our radius here, man, we can get a lot of people in that four, that little four, three, four hour range that can come to our, to our school to be a part of what, what we're building at Tennessee State over there, over on John A. Berry Boulevard. Absolutely. It's a lot of prominent graduates, not only in the undergrad program, but graduate school, MBAs, doctorates that have came from Tennessee State. And we don't know about it because, like you said, we're one of the most affordable schools there is in this region. And like I told you earlier, the only public school is. So the charge is to get those you know, successful business people in the, in the city from the city that came from Tennessee State. To, to come back and continue to, to help with, uh, push this program forward, which is why we're doing the Deserve to Win Weekend. 100%, Penny, I'm gonna go ask you about that, man. So talk about your idea for that, first of all, what kind of sport idea for it, and its impact on your on the program it's had the last few years of you doing it, having guys like Rob, like Rob Copeland come back to a camp, DRC come back, and how it, seeing those guys, probably alumni come back and wanna help you about what you're doing, what you're building, and school, school's building as well. Yeah, well, the D2W Deserve to Win moniker is something that we came up for our program, just about being a good person, treating the janitor the same way you treat the president, cleaning up after yourself, just overall being a good person. You have to deserve to win in life before we deserve to win a game. So that's the mindset from that. And from that um, grew the, the weekend. We felt like we got so many contacts on our phones, so many important people that we know. So, but how do you put all those people in the same room? Well, we decided, let's, let's have a basketball game. So... That basketball game turned into two games. Two games turned into a cocktail party. Cocktail party turned into a celebrity brunch on Sunday. And now you got people like Robert Covington and Dominic Rogers Camaraderie and Starlito, the, um, the rapper, Young Buck, um, Titans. You got all these people that are so influential in this city, but everybody's in their own little pocket. So to be able to put them all in one room is special. And then for alumni, a lot of times as an alumni, you just want to get your flowers. You want to be, you know, you want to know that you're appreciated. And this weekend is for that too. Rob Cummings having a free basketball camp for the kids for the, of the community to come out. Uh, you know, he's the only HBCU player in the NBA. But him to come back and give his own time for free to work with the kids in this community is priceless. Uh, seeing him walk around, he's a walk of inspiration to our team because He's a tangible person that you can go out and touch and see that his dreams came true and he came right from CSU and he's in the locker room spending time with him and working out, shooting with our guys and doing things like that. So you can't really put a price tag on that. Like, what's the point of, of people making it and doing something good if you can't reach back and grab another one, somebody else and make another Robert Covington? Reach back down and make another Dominique Rogers from Roddy. And that's what these guys do. And that's what this weekend will, will, will be about. Hey, man, you can keep going online, enjoy the win, play with the game. Get the tickets right now. They can get them July 1st. Best get that game support. Get in the my TSU Tigers, man. Do what they do, man. And Penny, for you, man, last year, 18 wins, man, 10 and 10 in conference play, man. Um, I know you you, you love what you saw last year for your guys improving, man, and seeing they're getting them 10 wins most of your career to TSU in conference, man. Talk about that last year and your guys improving your team, come together last year and do what they, they did last year. I know you didn't end the way you wanted to, but you saw your guys improve and get better last year on the court, record-wise, and as players, as young men as well. Well, I think that's the main thing is, are, are we getting better? Is our program going in the right direction? Is our culture in the right direction? And we check every box with that. There's not one box that our program doesn't check when it comes to, is the program, is Tennessee State basketball, men's basketball program going in the right direction? Is the culture right? And man, when I tell you that graduation rate, that's for real. Uh, when I tell you that uh, these young men care about each other and, and and love TSU and care about each other in the locker room. It's real. And then the winning, it just happens organically because we know what we're doing on the floor. You know, those guys are they're working their tails off. Sometimes games, sometimes the ball don't bounce the way you want it to bounce. But uh, I'm proud of the direction we're going in. Last year we won 14 games, finished fifth this year, 18 games, um, finished third, tied for third, one game out of second. Um, broke the record for most wins in the Gentry Center for home home wins. Um, like, like you said, 
10 wins and conference plays is the most that we've had since we've been here. Um, it's just it's just a good time. You know, coming off 18-win season, we, we don't want to look backwards. We definitely don't want to, you know, go backwards from that. Uh, but there's so many other things that have to be done for that to happen. The infrastructure has to be right. Leadership has to be right. Support from the campus has to be right. And all those things are happening right now. We got we got new film room being uh, done as we speak. We have a new nutrition room that just got done. Uh, we're getting a new training room. We're getting a new basketball court and new goals this year, new lights in the gentry. So it's just a really good time for TSU. Uh, that's why the recruiting class that we, that we had this year came to school here. And, and some of the commitments that we're starting to get, guys interested in the program, that level is, is raising and raising every year because of all the things that we've been doing to, to highlight this program. Amen to Ed Penny. And also talk about your staff, man. Continuity on your staff, man. Uh, 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 getting Coach Nichols to be the associate head coach. Had Russ there. Bone there. Your father there as well, man. And Locke. Talk about having continuity on staff and guys who commit to your vision as well and want the best for you and this program and the young men that come to TSU to be a, a tiger for life. Man, these guys are unbelievable. I got a great staff. They loyal. Um, we love each other. We spend a lot of time together. We go to lunch together every day, not because the head coach is making them. You know, literally, before we got on this call, you know, I had a couple of my staff members in here just just hanging out. You know, we just – we're friends. Um, and I think that's really important. Like, for good teams to be good, I think the teams got to like each other, you know. And our staff is like a team, and we really – we like each other. We're brothers. Our families spend time together. Our kids are starting to grow up together. It's crazy. You know, when we first got here, his, my son history was in kindergarten. Now he's in the fifth grade, going to the fifth grade. So, like, I'm, they're seeing, we're seeing each other's families grow up right in front of our eyes. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, and uh, I wouldn't want to go to war with anybody else. And uh, but loyalty is, is 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 the key with our group. We're a tight knit group, and uh, I'm hoping that we continue to to stay together. But uh, our guys have head coaching opportunities and opportunities to change. They families' lives, when those opportunities come, I'm going to be excited for them, just as excited for them as I am when they came here. 100% opinion. Also, I see you all playing in the Emerald Coast Classic down there against Mercer and down in the knock-on. Tell me about that. Uh, going against Greg Gary, it's a guy I know pretty well down here in Georgia, man. So, the opportunity to go down there and represent that brand down there, that, that MC down there, brother. Yeah, I'm excited about it. We, we play in, um, we play in MC every year. Um, last year we were out in California and made it to the championship game. Uh, we, were, we were runner-ups in that tournament. And so um, that's the goal, you know, to get down to the Emerald, play against some like-minded teams. It's a great field. Uh, yeah, we drew Mercer in the first game, so it's going to be a great game. And we have a large contingency of um, TSU alumni in that area. So we're hoping that the people from Orlando and Daytona and even maybe some of our Atlanta alumni can come down to Destin, Florida during Thanksgiving and support the Tigers on during that trip. No doubt, Penny. Thank you so much for your time, brother. I'll see you this other week, win weekend. I'll be at basketball camp on Thursday and Friday next week. So I want to send your brother. As always, I'm, I'm sorry. You don't know I'm happy for you, man. I'm proud, I'm proud of you. Legs represent my school, brother. I, re I, re I love you like a brother other friend. I'm serious about that, man. I love you, man. Thank you for doing what you're doing for my school, man. Man, appreciate you, man. I appreciate your time. And you know, anytime the boss man calls me, you know I got to hop on. No doubt, boy. I'll see you soon, my guy. I love you, man. I love you too, boy. Stay All right up. now. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use the promo code BLEAV, B L E A V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Better Online. Well, the game starts.